hi everybody this is Pramita here and uh, this is going to be a very short video as you people must be knowing that I'm not well and uh, I have burnt my left hand and now it's in this kind of uh, shape I just added because this bandage keeps coming off you know so um, uh, what I've done is uh, I am you know this October 13th um, I had started my shop on Etsy about two years back so currently I am I'm having a kind of sale on my shop all the items all the items physical and digital they are on sale and uh, you can check how much is what and um, also um, this uh, sale um, it's going to last for a week okay because uh, from 22nd of October till the end I think about a month or so um, we are going to have some festivals in India and shipping is going to be a little bit erratic so what I've decided to do is whatever uh, sale I'm going to have is going to be only till 22nd I, I think it's going to be till 21st if I'm not mistaken so um, shipping was going to take a while after that so that is why I have uh, made a sale and uh, regarding digital items uh, I will be adding new digitals uh, as you can see just, this is just a sample this is the physical digital uh, physical master board that I have created and then that has been scanned to form a digital file. You will also get some neutral uh, sort of collage backgrounds to make tags, journal cards. You can also use them on pages just as I had shown before. So this time they are going to be quite a lot and if um, uh, this time in this video then of course I'm going to do um, a show and tell kind of thing so this is going to be one of those add-on botanical um, kit so this is add-on for botanical kit uh, digital kit that I have in my shop uh, this is uh, add-on for the third botanical kit so again you have uh, two collage pages let me go through the second one this is all you know when you are not functioning properly everything goes haywire so this is the actually uh, just let me go back a little bit this is the add-on for the second botanical kit this has five sheets and these are the physical sheets that I had created and then I have scanned them I'm going to show you how they look after they have been scanned just give me a second so this is how they look after scanning okay my work table is a mess guys so I totally apologize for that so this is how it looks so this is the first page this is the second botanical kit that I had launched add on for that so if you buy that kit it has two pages and if you buy this this has five pages to to total you get seven pages all in this collage format so uh, I made it in such a way so that if you make a traveler's notebook see you get all the elements on this page and then you have some extra also which you can make into a pocket into a tag or whatever okay so this is how it works so this is the first page this is the second page this is my hand lettering by the way um, I just used a scrap of paper, uh, you know, label sort of thing, and then I have uh, lettered this word moments. So, again, you can use them in your tags, and they work beautifully with other kits also, other botanical kits apart from mine. So, if you are on a stash building kind of thing, if you want a very easy collage background, these are the things that you should go for because they make the work so much easier, and there's nothing uh, like, uh, you know, uh, very difficult about them because once you get them printed out you can cut them into tags 
uh, I have been making master boards for quite a while and I have been asked so many times to um, you know how I put them together and stuff like that so I thought that why not share my uh, you know projects or whatever I've done uh, with others so I've done that so this is the third page that you get in this kit so I hope to launch this um, uh, this weekend and uh, if uh, and uh, they are also going to be on discount okay so but this discount is um, I don't know the main items that I have the physical journals that I have in the journal section uh, that will probably last till 21st but I think I'm going to run the sale for the digital for this month so if you want to pick something up you're most welcome and uh, this is the other this is the fourth page and this is the fifth page so you have a lot of interesting things going on you can make tags pockets uh, and I have used them extensively in some of my recent journals and uh, you know honestly uh, I'm not saying this because this is my um, you know my concept or uh, I have done this but it reduces a lot of pressure if you don't want to collage if you don't have the time if you just want to tear some piece and use them in your bullet journal in your journals you can use them also they are made in such a way so a lot of thought code went into that so this is the add-on for the second botanical kit that I have and then we'll come on to the third one uh, this is the third botanical kit I have in my shop so again this is the add-on for the third botanical kit again this has two uh, uh, collaged pages that resemble the main kit and uh, rest of the three pages are pretty blankish so you can use them in any way you like so I'm sorry if I am creating any kind of weird shadows so this is the actual physical um, master board that I had created and then I um, you know scanned these just let me show them not this so this is the scan copy okay and this is how it's looking so this is the second uh, this is the third add-on kit so again this is a very blankish page and if you want to make a tag you can clearly see you can make a pocket and automatically when you're using a page like this which already has so many things going on it reduces the bulk in your journals also so if you are planning on using this for a pocket you can simply trim this off and then add some sort of an image over here it automatically um, gives an instant pop this is not your run-of-the-mill collage that you see uh, this is done in that neutral fashion so that you can use them in many ways and if you want to make journals also you can use these as pages along you know along with the main kit which also comes with two pages so again if you get if you get the main kit as well as the add-on kit what you get is two of the pages from the main kit and five pages from the add-on kit and then you can print them and use them as you like so this was the botanical uh, digital collage set 3 that I have in my shop so and then what I decided to do was I made some neutral backgrounds so these come in a set of 8 so there are 8 pages in one zip file and this is I think um, I have not named them as yet so I've just this is just a show and tell so probably after I uh, release these digital kits I'm going to come back and show you how you can make tags pockets uh, very little effort requires for that so this is um, one set and it has eight pages uh, let me show you this one first so this is eight pages from somewhere. 
So this is the first page. And again, they are grungy at places and there are some blank spaces also. And I'll tell you why I have kept them. So this is like if you want to make a tag, if you want to make a pocket, you can just... If you want to make it into a journal page, that works too. So it looks like this. So you can make it into a page or if you want to make this into a pocket, you can make it into a pocket. These are so versatile. I personally would not have recommended something which I have not used myself and I'm really hooked onto these master boards. They give you so much of variety and even with these you can do collages also. So you will have a lot of choices. Uh, this is the second page. And you'll see a lot of the stuff, um, a lot of the spaces has blank spaces also. So why? Because, you know, I didn't want to fill everything for you. You can come back and add a little stamp over here. Or maybe you can stencil something over here. You can um, add some sort of embellishment. I didn't want everything to be covered. Uh, I also wanted to give uh, you the choice to make, uh, create something on your own. So this is the fourth page. This is the fifth page. You can see there's slight, there's slight white space, but these are not entirely white. Actually, they have a background. There's a receipt sort of thing going on. So this is the fifth page. This is the sixth page. You can see there's blank space, and now you you can put a label here. You can fussy cut something and add something over here so it's like so and this is again some sort of a busy page so you get a pretty good balance of um, everything so there are eight sheets so this is the last sheet so sorry let me turn this around so it is like this so these are all original vintage ephemera that I had. This is a vintage book. So is this. This is a vintage music book I had which is literally falling apart. Uh, so there are lots of things that are from my personal collection. And you can see. So this is uh, the second last page. This is the third last page. This is another page. So you get eight of these um, element you know, sheets that you can use. And I will try and do some videos uh, to show you how you can make um, your journals. If you are not confident about stitching a journal, how you can make a journal without stitching. If anybody is interested in that, I have seen Patricia Baramonte do something similar, uh, but I think, um, you know, hers was way, way better. But I want to put some sort of a twist in the things that she had done. And I'm so inspired by her. I really would thank, like to thank her. And if anybody is interested, then I'll also post the link to the video. Uh, she has a long series of uh, videos whereby she shows how she puts together a non-so kind of journal. Uh, another person that I've seen doing that is uh, Ruby and Pearl XO, Heather. Um, but if, uh, but I think this one is uh, a lot more, uh, this is going to be a lot more small, compact and I prefer doing this first. And then maybe I'm going to try Ruby's technique also. Uh, putting a twist there also, as I usually do. Again, this is the other master board set. So it's going to be set one, set two. So I'm going to name like this because that's easier for me to remember. So this is the first page. This is the second page. This is all a mess, guys. So this is going to be the third page. So fourth page. You can see these are excellent for collage backgrounds. You know, 
I would love I'm itching to show you people how well you can incorporate these in your journals and you don't need to have any sort of headache for extra collages uh, except adding some, uh, some sort of a botanical image or a butterfly or a mushroom or whatever you know the background is already done for you so this is the other page and this is another page this is the I, I think I'm doing it other way around you know let me let me turn this around just let me turn this around um, okay so this is the first page okay and this is the second page this has you know some reddish tones to it so this is the third page these are all some finish um, vintage ephemera that I had and these are from Portugal so there's a lot of mishmash these are some coffee dyed uh, burnt paper I had in my stash uh, so these are some vintage receipts I had in my stash from my country uh, so this is the third page this is the fourth page and I really love how these sections came out and I have kept these in mind so if you want to use this as a page or even as a pocket you can trim this from here and you can make a pocket beautiful pocket from these papers I really really love how they turned out you know so this is the th fourth page sorry yeah fourth page this is the fifth page page seventh page and this is the last page so this is how they are looking so these are going to be launched during this weekend so uh, because my husband does all these you know I, I'm just on the um, um, creative side and my husband is going to uh, do the rest. So let me take this off. So he is only be able. To, he is only going to be able to do it during the weekend. So I just got them uh, scanned and worked them out this weekend. So I'm just going to give him a few days. I don't know if I can bring them earlier. So keep checking my shop. Um, once they are launched they are going to be on discount along with the other digitals and right now I'm having an anniversary sale so no coupon is required it is still free shipping uh, you know because I'm recuperating I'm not working that much just a little bit here and there so I I would love to have you know some kind of sale right now so I'm having a discount I'm having a sale um, on all the items that I have in my shop irrespective of digital or um, physical items everything is on sale and free international track shipping still stands so no worries about that so thank you guys for being here and bye have a great day